you know, tracing back in history, by about the middle of the 18th century, you have this birth of romanticism, you have a birth of the idea that the answer to your life is to find somebody else, one other person, which will make all other people unnecessary, and you can focus on, on that person and be totally happy with them. It's a beautiful idea, but it's very, very difficult, and most of us have real difficulty living up to that. Uh, the older Christian view is to say that you can't worship one other person. You, know, you can worship God, but you can't worship one other human being. What you need to do is to spread your affection widely in a community. Um, and uh, it doesn't have to be a community of people that's exactly like you, that likes exactly the same films and goes to exactly the same places on holiday, etc. You, you can, there's a tremendous benefit in opening yourself up to strangers. Um, and this is something we've forgotten, really. We, we tend to believe, especially with social media, it's all about finding someone who's almost exactly like you. Mm -hmm. They also like biking and uh, holidaying in San Francisco and uh, you know, the iPad and whatever. And if you, if you narrow all your likes, you will get to the perfect friend. Um, whereas Christianity takes a different view. It says, okay, let's just gather a group of strangers from anywhere. And it's precisely the, the fact that they don't like what you like that, that, uh, that is the breeding ground for interesting ideas and encounters.